Sí, durante esta visita nosotros nos hemos dado cuenta que las familias comían. And it was during these visits, these physical visits inside the garbage dump that they were able to witness that families were eating from the garbage dump. They were eating expired foods, um, contaminated foods, and that's that's kind of when they were able to really see how big of a problem it really was. She said that families would, would when a garbage truck would, would enter the dump, um, families would rush to the garbage truck um, and and fight over over the you know things that were being left from the truck, whether it was meats or dairy products or whatever they could find to bring back to their homes. She personally was able to witness this and see how families would rush to the trucks and they would fight with uh, buzzards the birds that would also be in the garbage dump fighting for the same food. And so she says she's also seen, been witness to children losing their lives in the garbage dump. And it's not because they're not loved, it's the situation that they're faced on a daily basis. And it's, you know, they're, they're not able to continue their school education and they have to be able to be there for their families. After the scholarship program, um, we, we noticed that food has become an increasing, or a continuous problem and challenge. Um, so ever since 2019 in San Pedro Sula, we've been able to provide food baskets for the families and the benefits that they've been able to see started from the beginning until today. And, and so she said that there's, um, there's a lot of benefits that they've been able to witness from the food campaigns. Families range from five people in a household up to 20, including aunts and uncles and extended family members. And it's it's a reliable source of food. It's food security it's coming from a secure place. It's not coming from some outside place that's contaminated. And the reliability is, is a, a huge benefit for the families that are served. Sí, hoy podemos ver esos resultados porque ya tienen una mejor nutrición, un buen peso. Una, eh, ellos mismos nos cuentan ahora que ya están muy gorditos o gorditas y los directores dicen ya como le dan comida ya, ya no les quedan los uniformes <laughs> escolares. So Erica is excited because she's been able to witness some of the, the fruits of the of the project um, that the kids are have better nutrition um, and they're they're gaining weight and she said even the high the elementary school principal has said um, the, the kids uniforms aren't fitting anymore and and how great of a of a challenge that is you know how great of a challenge that is to be able to work towards that.